our motto of the uh, my organization was to create customer satisfaction more than a sales. So we dig into the every part of their uh, pain areas uh, on the implementation of the service or any part of their, uh, we go beyond the our scope of work and we help our organizations and we have several uh, appreciations we received uh, from one of the largest bank of India to handle that uh, their hardware, which we have, which they have failed to actually uh, implement that part. That was the record we had. Uh, the another section was we go beyond the architecture part. So money is a priority is not about the uh, commercials and all that part, but implementation of technology and uh, the security which we give to the uh, things. Our company actually believes the technology should be a business centric rather than IT centric. And that's why we design our projects and that's why we work with our client. And coming to the uh, next game changer for the uh, present uh, IT thing is the coming 5G network, which is going to hit in a year by. The 5G is uh, definitely going to be a game changer for several industries. Uh, whether you called of uh, technologies like AI, MI, uh, see till date we actually are able to store the data, but the speed with the 4G was not enough to actually work with IOTs or AI ML. We uh, VR uh, AR is not AR capable of uh, sending the data. Somewhere it has been a blocked road for the, uh, them. Now coming to the 5G, which is a giga, which is a tremendous speed, which has a capability of delivering. Uh, 100 MBBS in less than one second. It runs with 100, more than 100 MBBS in less than one second. This is what the IoT industry is actually required. There's, there will be a tremendous change in uh, once the 5G comes. There will be a lot of uh, increase in the smart uh, uh, smart cities, smart uh, homes. This our IoT industry, logistic industry is going to benefit out of it. The tracking devices, the healthcare industry is going to benefit of it, but. As I said, 5G is going to be a definitely a game changer in the upcoming days for this IT industry or in any kind of industries. With the, uh, when we actually uh, go with the client for any kind of, uh, um, I mean, uh, for discussing any project or kind of things, we make sure that clients actually really uh, believe in us. The trust matters. So what we actually do is we create a, uh, we examine the a complete uh, functionality for the complete requirement, fill the gap analysis. Uh, we consider underlying technology, we recommend for them, we will be the backend part till the project is live. We actually go beyond to talk to their uh, uh, clients part, to, to their counterparts and understand the overall architecture. We give the additional, uh, uh, we design the architectures uh, for them. So for any part of it, the client is dealing with, they feel uh, uh, in the comfort level there so they can trust us and they can move on with any project building with us. There was uh, not much challenges for us because we, uh, our model is on the remote support basis only. The challenges which we actually encountered is on the implementation part for different uh, clients. So the few clients which we had to be on, on, uh, on support where we, uh, requested them and we enabled a few uh, remote uh, technology features of the RTP things uh, to work for, uh, on the remote basis. Coming to the challenges on that part, uh, uh, there were not much challenges because as a service integrator company, we were ready for all this uh, kind of uh, uh, IT disasters on all the thing. So we were not having challenges, but yes. For the employee safety, we had make sure that if someone is actually our employees are getting affected, so we increased on the uh, their insurance values and all that stuff, which are some uh, somewhat burden in this uh, pandemic uh, in this lockdown situations where the incoming of our commercials was not much, uh, though. But uh, for the health uh, uh, employee safety, we have done that uh, changes. So that was a small uh, challenge we faced, and nothing more than because as a system integrator company, we always. Uh, uh, ready for this uh, kind of situations where we don't uh, go with the plan A. We have around three to four plans where if someone fails, we can actually go and uh, make it possible that uh, where the applications or the systems uh, should, should run 24 by 7. Coming to especially on the pandemic situations, we were much more worried on the data productions. Few of our clients are on premises, few of them the private load, few, few of them were the public load. Public load definitely there was not much more damage uh, on for our clients because uh, they have separate SLA with the clouds, uh, cloud uh, data centers. 
but coming to the private cloud or the on premises they was much uh, worried for us because if some attacks or some kind of uh, inside attacks or any kind of attacks which happens and it data got affected so that would be a huge loss for our business so uh, that is one of the reason what we have taken a step is we enabled a three uh, third layer of the uh, dr setup so we have uh, done a, a backup plan for the offline for every, uh, mean to say every archive backup for every uh, six hours. So increment of uh, things, there's a separate uh, offline backup irrespective of the DR uh, setup. Even the failure was uh, very much fine, working fine. But we have to make sure for every network, uh, every element of that uh, project coming to the network, coming to the servers, coming to the services, coming to the application front, we make sure that the third uh, layer should be enabled. And uh, we made that uh, as, a, as a gesture of our duty to, uh, to the clients on this pandemic situations. So that's how we actually survived uh, on the uh, uh, DR or the busy, uh, business continuity plan for our clients. We are working with the largest bank uh, on the, uh, where we are working with e-learning part, uh, which has capacity to store 3.5 lakhs of their employees uh, and 10,000 concurrency of their users. Apart from that, now we have enabled, uh, uh, we have given a, a prototype to them with the search engine, so the internal search engine for them, for the 3.5 lakhs users uh, with, uh, AI, uh, with AI technology, the mixing of AI technology with, for that. Coming to that, the next is we are working with a logistics uh, startup company. So uh, which is also integrated with the AI uh, and ML part for the agriculture front. Uh, and the next is uh, smart market is one of the area where we are working with our clients for the agriculture smart market, uh, where the precision agriculture is going to hit uh, maybe in the next 2021. Uh, uh, with one of these uh, uh, startup organizations. We are uh, uh, expanding our wings on the cyber security front. We are also uh, coming up with an AI and ML uh, for the next 2021 uh, as per the market and uh, to also uh, to get the benefit with the 5G if the 5G is released in the near future. But apart from even if the 5G is not there, so our motto is on the automation part uh, where we have to increase automation either by using AI, ML or uh, any other uh, kind of technique as per the client's requirements, uh, but automation, cybersecurity are the major friends. So uh, what we have learned the lesson from this pandemic situations where uh, digital or virtual is much more better than any physical. Uh... For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.